Hey, welcome back to the shop. This is Zach over at NV Woodworks. Time for a quick tip update. So, we're gonna be talking about Alumalite Clear today. And uh, you know, you may have noticed that the temperatures are starting to get a little bit lower in the shop. And uh, some people may be noticing that the Alumalite Clear Part B is as thick as jelly. And I've gotten some emails already about this and I've seen this, you know, for years. I see when, when it starts getting cooler out, people start freaking out because the Alumalite Clear Part B thickens up significantly. Now, don't freak out, it's fine. What happens is if the temperature drops below 65, that Part B of the Alumalite Clear resin is gonna thicken up. No big deal, all you gotta do is heat it back up. Now, there's a couple of ways to do that. You could maybe use a heat gun. I think this would probably get pretty tedious, especially if you have a large quantity of it, like the, the two gallon kit. Um, even with the 32 ounce kit, where, where I think you're, you got 16 ounce, or 30, 32 ounce kit, is that what I said? If you have 16 ounce bottle of it, one of these guys, uh, it's gonna take a while with the heat gun, you know, to get this stuff heated back up. And you're gonna wanna rush it and, and you don't wanna do that. So what most people do is get a warm water bath and just stick the jug in, in some warm water and let it sit there and, and warm up kind of slowly. Uh, you can heat up water in a bowl in you know the microwave on the stove however you want to do it if you have some sort of a hot plate that you can regulate the temperature pretty low uh, that would work uh, I think Alumalite recommends that you don't heat it up any higher than 130 degrees which you know that's pretty high but it's significantly lower than boiling and so some of these hot plate things uh, fluctuate you know ovens I don't think I would stick it in the oven I definitely wouldn't recommend that so just just get some way to regulate it but slow slow is better usually and so find you know the warm water bath will do do just fine you may have to reheat the water once or twice but once it's thinned out give it a little bit of a shake and it'll kind of mix all the components back up and you're good to go everything will be fine with it now i do want to mention that alumalite clear has a pretty short uh, shelf life so it may be bad if you haven't used it for six months you know but the thickening part of that does not mean that it's bad. That just means that it got cool. So I hope this helps. I, I, you know, the first time this happened to me, I literally threw out half a gallon of Alumalite because I thought, I'm like, this is bad. You know, <laughs> this is, I'm freaking out and I didn't know what to do. I threw it away and ordered more. I hope this kind of saves somebody from doing that or just freaking out at all. Uh, you're good to go. Just heat it back up, thin it out, and you're, you're fine. So... If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those down below. You can email me at Zach at NVWoodworks.com. I'm out there on Facebook and Twitter. Again, I hope this helps out. And, you know, don't freak out. Your loom light's fine. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.